Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I initially intended to do a like day in my life vlog and uh, do this little project together with you guys, but honestly, it took me longer than anticipated. I actually didn't have time to like spend the whole day just organizing uh, my closet, so I had to split this in three days. And today is the final day. I am finally done. I'm here in front of my closet, and I can't wait to. Show you guys i am a little bit of a organizational freak and if you haven't noticed i already have a couple of videos where i organize my wardrobe uh, so if you want to watch them i'm going to link them uh somewhere on the screen in the info card i love these videos i love watching them so i hope you guys enjoy i'm going to share some tips and just like how i like to store my stuff and what i do in this specific uh, dressing room in this closet layout that i have right now i don't have that much like display space so i like to switch up my clothes uh, between seasons and now we are entering fall hence my fall inspired lip color <laughs> and i just wanted to uh, take out some of my knits like cozy warmer clothes and put away some of like really really summery pieces some pieces that are in between i left because i might still wear them now let's start organizing and let's start with the day one when i started this whole project
What are you doing there? Get inside. Get inside. Good morning again. It is day three of my whole fall wardrobe reorganizing project. I obviously thought that I'm going to finish this sooner, but it uh, took me a little bit longer. I have some new laundry that my cleaner left yesterday, so she ironed and folded everything. Uh, I'm pointing on this shelf. It's so weird and hard to point. Yeah, it's here uh, on this shelf. So I am going to now put that away, finish unpacking these cases here, and then I'm going to finalize this project and show you guys my wardrobe. I'm going to try and give myself like one hour to finish this because I want to be fast and productive today and just get over with it. So let's see how it goes. So in this uh, part of my closet, I uh, kept this pretty much the same. If you guys watched any of my previous videos, you would have seen that I always had this like a longer uh, compartment. And over here, I just have all of like my dresses hanging, some skirts, like long pieces, long dresses. And uh, over here, I have some of like uh, thinner and lighter like jackets. I have another section where I keep all of my like thicker coats, down jackets and all that stuff. And down here. So in this drawer, I have all of my sweatshirts, uh, some like longer sweatshirts here. Then here are some sweatpants and then more sweatshirts here in front. So basically this drawer is kind of like lounging around, chill out at home <laughs> type of a drawer. And then underneath in here, I have my gym clothes that I still haven't tackled. There is a lot going on in there i'm just going to give you a sneak peek it is overflowing and i need to i need to just sit down one day and dedicate to decluttering my gym clothes i also am expecting an order from lululemon so when that arrives i'm going to just go through this drawer then underneath here, I love this little section. I added this later on. I didn't have this before. So I just added this little, like low shelf with two layers and I uh, purposefully made it so low and like short because over here I don't need much space as I wanted this shelf for my at home like slippers, slides and things like that. Obviously it is empty right now because some of my slides are in the hallway, but yeah, this is really convenient. Uh, in the morning, I just slide this out and I can take my slippers, like flip-flops and things like that. Uh, then here I have some running shoes, gym shoes. Over here I had my golf shoes, but I am currently um, cleaning them. So they are being cleaned. Over here, I don't know how much light you have, but I hope you can see everything. So in this section, uh, obviously we have a rail. And in here I keep all of the tops or bottoms that I like to hang, that I don't like to fold so things that uh, wrinkle easily or just don't fold so well uh, but yeah over here I just have some sweatshirts and t-shirts tops um, yeah basically everything that's kind of like more evening appropriate like black and I realized that I have so many black items and I don't wear black that much anymore so I think this was a good exercise because I probably won't be buying anything black for a very long time and i also this time hung some of my sweaters so i took down some of my sweaters and i noticed that a lot of them are very wrinkled like this one is gorgeous sweater that i got at the end of last season it's from cos 
and it is gorgeous like turtleneck super soft like oversized cashmere sweater it was very affordable for cashmere and it's really nice neutral color everything that i love uh, but it got quite wrinkled when it was stored and folded so i hung this one in i hope it's going to kind of like uh, loosen up if not i'm going to steam it but yeah this for example is not really good being folded if you want to wear it immediately so i hung this one same with this cardigan also i noticed it got wrinkled a lot and this type of fabric wrinkles very easily so i decided to also hang this one as well i know it's taking a little bit of space because sweater is a little bit thicker and they take a lot of space and i have only this one section for all of my like tops and bottoms that needs to be displayed like this but yeah i feel like with these hangers these are life so i don't know if i ever mentioned this probably i did in one of my first organizing videos but yeah i switched to these hangers a long time ago because they are so so convenient they're so thin slim they fit a lot of clothes in a small space and also what I love is that they are velvet so nothing is like slipping and falling off of them and everything just like stays still uh, even like satin or silky blouses and dresses they always stay put on these hangers so these I highly highly recommend I am going to link uh, some of my favorites down below ideally I would have them all in the same color uh, but I still have a couple of like a gray ones and I didn't want to switch them out just because I have them and I never actually discussed this but you guys probably have noticed something different if you watch my previous videos and that is doors right now i actually have doors and i am completely absolutely converted i don't know how i just discovered how convenient and how much they make your life easier on one hand it's not that good having doors because that way uh, you can kind of like shove things inside just close the doors and you feel like everything is clean but inside is a mess so that is like a downside but in general i really prefer how it looks uh, this room is now where i spend a lot of time i film here a lot because i love the white background i love the lights on these doors so i just find them so aesthetically pleasing and i love this space i always get ready here i have my vanity here my shoe wall my beautiful mirror so yeah this room is special but right now having these doors it's just like completely transformed the space uh, if you have to have your clothes in your bedroom for example i would highly recommend or getting like a curtain to cover your rail or uh, just getting some doors if you have like some sort of a open closet space because it really makes a huge difference and i know like ikea uh, packs wardrobes were so popular and everyone seemed to have like the open wardrobes but i'm seriously converted i also got these custom handles uh, I ordered these off of Amazon and they, they are so good. They look really premium and high quality They're kind of like muted brush gold color. They're not shiny. They're not in your face gold But they give that like nice accent uh, of gold uh, on all white. I just love these doors um, If you notice here though, we had a little issue these two uh, units are not really connected well together because the floor underneath actually is kind of crooked like the uh, building is super super old and the flooring is very old and original so the floors are kind of like i don't know like falling down in the middle i don't know how to explain they're crooked they're not straight so uh, these units they just couldn't be connected completely together so this is a little bit weird but uh, I mean, we're not gonna stay in this apartment forever, so it's fine. <laughs> then over here, I did mention, I also have my little corner with my golf skirts, skirts, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I think I'm going to probably put them away because even if we now go playing, uh, I don't think I will be wearing these. I think I'll probably wear some pants, so I'm going to put these away. Then down here, we have my old um, drawer with like belts, 
sunglasses this hasn't changed uh, I just like added some stuff so it's pretty much the same and down here let me show you guys the drawers so in this drawer I used to have like some summery tops some uh, light skirts and shorts and stuff but now I have all of my uh, knits my sweaters the first row are just some of my nice cashmere sweaters uh, and I just love all of them here I also have some bodies but they're also uh, cashmere blend I got these from Intimissimi last year and I love them and here behind I have some knit sets these are like lounge sets uh, they are from mango and I don't know I really like them last year I think I'm going to see how much I'm going to wear them this season if not I'm going to probably give them away and here I have another knit set some thicker sweaters over here and I am so happy I really reduced the amount of uh, sweaters and knits that I have right now because at some point it was really getting out of hand I have a lot that I will be giving away as well this year because I just accumulate them like crazy uh, I also have a couple of them here that I showed you already and I have a few that are being currently in the laundry so yeah I don't need any more sweaters or knits and I just yeah <laughs> I am happy with this for this season then underneath here I have the same glass drawer and this one also has some knits but these are like much uh, thinner and like more going out evening appropriate knits back here I have some cotton sweaters that I like to wear around the house then I have these two which are just like different colors so they ended up in the back because I don't know over here I have neutrals and I didn't want these two colors in the front <laughs> these are my favorite type of tops paired with the jeans like something similar to what I'm wearing right now and I just love having a good choice of those then in here I have some t-shirts like very very casual t-shirts that I would just throw on underneath the sweater or just when I'm around the house and in here I folded nicely all of my tank tops I also got rid of some tank tops I had way too many I mean this is already excessive I didn't wear tank tops that much but yeah they're just like useful to have sometimes they're good as a layering piece or just to keep you warm underneath uh, some other clothing items when it's really really cold so yeah this is the second drawer in this section then here in this one I just have like sleepwear and underwear and stuff like that which we're not gonna go through and in here in this basket drawer this is also new from Ikea as well and I just wanted to add this type of a drawer because it's first of all much like lighter and <laughs> airier than the others I felt like if I have the same like this it's gonna be like too much I don't know maybe too blocky so I wanted to add just like visually a different layer here and I also like that it's so airy because I decided to keep all of my jeans down here and I feel like my jeans need more air uh, they can easily start smelling like stuffy I don't know maybe that's just me but I like to have my jeans in this basket drawer and I have space for my golf pants over there and then here I also have space for couple of pairs of jeans I don't like to keep more than three four pairs of jeans on one pile just because I want to keep it very like approachable accessible and visible I find that if I can easily grab and if I can actually see what I have in a drawer I wear more of my clothes and I don't know just that way I feel like I utilize more of my wardrobe and then in here in this corner I just have some of my leggings like leather leggings and velvet leggings and so on so these are all leggings and this is the final drawer and that concludes the final drawer and back here I didn't show but I have some visors I also like to keep them here so I can easily grab them when I need and to store all of the clothes that I won't be using I'm using these uh, IKEA cases that I got last year and I absolutely love them they are so nice and minimal and sleek they really make everything look so much neater and also they protect your clothes when it's stored uh, they're quite like well sealed 
and I just really really love them I would highly recommend them I'm going to link them down below as well if you guys are interested they have uh, different sizes so you can find the ones that are working for your space So that would be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me over there, I love getting to know you. And yeah, take care. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.